To solve this equation by completing the square, we need a perfect square trinomial on the left side of the equation. And notice that the trinomial we have doesn't even factor, so we know it's not a perfect square trinomial. In order to create a perfect square trinomial on the left side, we would first move this plus 30 over to the right by subtracting 30 from both sides of the equation and we have m squared plus 12m equals negative 30. Notice that I've left room for a space on each side of the equation. The number that goes in each space is the number that we need to create a perfect square trinomial on the left side of the equation. The question is, what is that number? Well, it comes from a formula. The number that goes in these spaces always comes from half the coefficient of the middle term squared. In this case, that's half of positive 12, which is positive 6, squared, which is positive 36. So we add 36 to both sides of the equation. Notice that the left side now factors as m plus 6 times m plus 6, or m plus 6 squared. The right side simplifies to 6. And now our problem looks just like one of the examples in the previous section. To solve for m, we get rid of the squared by square rooting both sides, and we have m plus 6 equals plus or minus root 6. Don't forget to use plus or minus when square rooting both sides of an equation. To get m by itself, we subtract 6 from both sides, and we have m equals negative 6 plus or minus root 6. And let's write our answer in set notation. This method for solving a quadratic equation is called completing the square, and we'll be using it throughout the rest of this unit.